Let me ask you a couple of questions. Put your hand up if the answer is yes. In your circle of close friends and family, how many of them are experiencing infertility? What about ADHD? What about breast cancer? I could spend a day doing this. And let me ask one last question. If you put your hand up at least once, put it up again. Everyone in this room is affected by this epidemic of modern hormone-related diseases. This is what you go to an endocrinologist to talk to about. And for everyone on this list, plus more, there is solid, not certain, but solid evidence that exposure to endocrine-disrupting pesticides at some time during development can be contributing to a portion of that disease epidemic. Now, that sounds bad, but I think it's really good news because the more we understand, the more we can focus attentions on reducing exposures, getting bad stuff out of commerce, making materials safer. That's good news. We can do it if we act on what we now know. Exposure is ubiquitous. Um, it's in our, there, I loved what Ron said about, it used to be all food was normal. When did it become conventional food and more expensive organic food, right? They've, they've gamed the words with us. Conventional food, your grandmother's food is organic, right? We need to, we need to grab that back. Uh, salmon, especially uh, farm salmon, because of the way that they're fed, have uh, a series of persistent organic pollutants in them that are endocrine disrupting. We can find some of these compounds in wine. We find them in the plastic in which soda is sold. Um, they're in fragrances. They're in cleaning products. They're obviously in pesticides used inside the house and in the farm. 